We did this audit because Nova Scotians are concerned about access to family doctors and want to know how their government is dealing with this. There were three key findings in this audit. Firstly, the government is doing a poor job in communicating to Nova Scotians what its plans are for access to family doctors and primary care. Secondly, while the government has a recruitment strategy that it put in place in spring of 2017, it hasn't defined what it expects from that strategy and what success will indeed be. And finally, I was happy to note that long-term needs in relation to doctors on a go-forward basis and primary care has been considered, including looking at things like healthcare trends and population differences as well. To address the shortcomings that we noted during the audit, we made five recommendations. All of these were accepted by government with a commitment to act. I think two things should happen now. The government should explain to Nova Scotians what its plans are for today and into the future to address access to family doctors. And secondly, members of the legislature and the Public Accounts Committee and all of Nova Scotians should hold their government accountable to fulfill and act on those plans. So now I leave you with five questions you may wish to ask in relation to this audit.